was yet, but at least she's resting. She's a lucky lady, Sean. Yeah, well, let's hope that luck holds. She's gonna need it. I talked to her WSB contact in Rockport. Mm -hmm. Find out anything I could about Alistair. Have to get a line on you? Nothing. He's disappeared. Oh, damn. Damn. There's DBX crawling all over this case, Sean. Who would expected Dr. Baker's best friend to be an enemy agent? Yeah, an enemy agent who was assigned to kill her. You know, poor Alex leads her, his only daughter, right into the lion's den. I can't believe that. I wish she came out in one piece. Yeah, but that's only a temporary for you. We both know that the DBX is not finished with her yet. I noticed the guards outside. Yeah. I think two's enough? Should be, with our help. I'll tell you one thing. Anyone who tries to get to Greta has to go through me first. I thought you were a reporter. Haven't you had enough? Yes, I certainly have. Perhaps one or two will come by for post-mortem. You made the headlines again. Oh, wonderful. I came by to see if it was a big mistake. You know what they say. The press never lies. I'm sorry to have this happen after losing Duke. Hi, Captain, this end. You stay in touch. WSB is going to drop a full security blanket around the entire area. Well, let's hope they get it down in time. If Alistair surfaces, we'll grab them and worry about it. I appreciate your help. My pleasure. You'd make a pretty good partner. You remind me of Robert. You'd be proud of you, too. See you later, huh? You really got it bad, don't you? What? What are you talking about? For her. She's made an impression, yeah. Well, it shows. It's been a long time since I felt this protective toward a woman, that's all. Well, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, but I've rescued a lot of women like Greta. Oddly enough, I've never gotten involved with any of them. Why? Wouldn't allow myself to. I was always married to the job, loved the work. Thought love would make me much too vulnerable. Really? I'd never let chinks like that on my armor, that's for sure. Now you regret it? I sometimes wonder what I missed, yeah. Well, you survived the war as intact. Doing something right. Maybe so. But I keep thinking that if I had run across Greta early in my career, things would be different. Well, her loss is the WSB's gain. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Let's go, yeah. See, you can't turn the clock back, but you can learn from your mistakes. Don't you wonder how I know cliches like that? <laughs> Maybe you need some chinks in your armor, huh? Maybe I do. I don't know how my relationship with Greta is going to proceed, if at all, for that matter. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going to let the DBX put an end to it. I just checked the formula, and it's a clever fake. Definitely not the antidote for MOX-36. Then Donnelly's got the real thing. I know how to make Donnelly talk. Well, even though he's WSB, he can be broken. It's just a matter of finding the right button to push. And you leave that to me. Meet me later at the regular spot. I'll bring my persuasion with me. Oh, well. I don't mind telling you that I'm pretty scared for the future. You're not thinking about leaving Port Charles. Yeah, it's a possibility. No! What's left for us here? I mean, even if I had reasonable job prospects, I've got Robin to think of. Oh, I've made such a mess of her life. What happened wasn't your fault. Yeah, but I should have prevented it. You know? I'm determined to make it up to her. 
She must be feeling so insecure. You know, whatever you decide or wherever you go, if you and Robin ever need anything, I won't forget about you. We'll always be here for you. I just wish I could say the same thing about Duke. Safe. It beats waiting around for Dunham to turn himself in, doesn't it? That sure does, because if we can expose that DVX undercover agent at HTI, maybe he can give us a line on where Alistair is. We also may find out what the DVX has planned next. I wish I could be over there right now, but I'm still worried about it. Come on, don't worry about it. I'm still go. worried about it. I'll make sure that she's okay. You just find out who has her fingers in Greta's cookie jar. All right. How's it going? Couldn't be quieter. Well, let's keep it that way, huh? You expecting trouble? I just hate surprises. I wouldn't mind one right now. Keep me awake. Well, if you can't do it, I'll find somebody else who can. Hey, lighten up, detective. Nobody's getting by us. Well, they better not. You see anything suspicious, I want to know about it immediately. You got it. No unauthorized personnel inside. And you think we're guarding the Pope? <sighs> well, you take care of this little lady this time, and next time you may have an easy job like this again. I'll see you. Okay. and laying around here. I'm here. I uh, went outside to think things out and run a little bit, and of course it starts raining. What things? It's got an Engstrom case. It's taking my head over. We need to talk about that. I know. I think that sometimes it's good to stop where we are, see where we're going. Right. We should do it right now, for the WSB takes over our lives. Hello. Yes, Sean. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that would be fine. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. That was Sean. At 8 o'clock in the morning. He was up all night thinking about this case. He wants me to take it over, and I'm going to. Take it over? I gotta go. Let's not forget our little talk, all right? No, let's not. Frisco, I thought I saw you come in here. Hey, Captain. Thought you were working with Sean. I just came in to use Anna's WSB computer. How come you're not in front of it, then? Uh, a little sidetrack. Just looking at Robin's drawing here. Yeah. The desk. It's so empty. Yeah. It belongs in a damn furniture store, not an office. It's certainly going to be different around here without Anna. You can say that again. You know, she always went to bat for me. You know that, Captain? Yeah, from the first day you got in the academy. She didn't sit too well with you, probably. Oh, come on. Give me a few more chances to chew you out. You were always on my case and Sam's case. Yeah, but always. that made you better offers, because you know it. Remember we almost won the final? Yeah, I remember. If it wasn't for Anna. Anna Devane was the best. Frisco, she's not dead yet. Yeah, but it's such a damn shame she had to leave the department. I wish I had a chance to talk her out of it. I don't think anybody could have. One thing Anna would never do, and that's buckle under public pressure. Of course not. It was just uh, purely personal reasons. Duke Lavery. You got it. I missed the wedding. I was hanging out of a helicopter over Niagara Falls. <laughs> Some wedding. I understand that reporters barged in with Mark Carlin. They ruined the whole thing. It must have been awful. Well, it certainly humiliated her. I don't understand his thinking. He had to realize the truth would come out eventually. Oh, it always does. If he'd just been honest with her from the beginning, she'd probably still be around here. Maybe. 
And again, maybe not. I mean, just think about it. Could she really have turned him in? I mean, Duke and his father, they covered up, made a secret out of that murder for four years. Wait a minute. I'm trying to ID the thumbprint you gave me to find out who tried to kill Greta. Yeah, well, too bad it's only a partial. No, the APB on Alistair's a big zero. I entered the print of the computer twice, it's still nothing. Are you kidding? Well, hell, the answer could still be in here. Well, I'll stay with it all night if I have to. Yeah, you too. What? What's that? I'm moving into the chief's office. I'm taking over temporarily, just until the board can vote on a permanent replacement for Anna. Well, congratulations. Knock it off. No, really. I wish you all the luck. It's going to be tough to replace her. I'm just filling in temporarily. Well, if you need any help, let me know. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I can use your help. As a matter of fact, i got to get this, this department back on its track now. A bunch of cases have been put on the back burner. I need your help. What kind of cases? Got a window broken over Keenan Jewelry Store? Anything stolen? No. Probably backed into it himself to get the insurance to pay for it. Still has to be investigated. We also have Mrs. Rifkin's cars disappeared. Again? That old lady's car's always disappearing, Captain. You know that. She finds it a couple weeks later. She's the one who misplaced it. It's like a boomerang. You throw it and it comes back to you. I don't appreciate your attitude, Frisco. Well, excuse me, Captain. I don't appreciate yours. You know I'm working on a WSB case. According to my records, you're off vacation as of Monday. Vacation? Yes. I expect you back in this office on duty bright and early Monday morning. Look, Frisco. I didn't just get to be 45 overnight, you know. It took me a long time to get here. I know you're restless. Is that what you think? I'm restless? I think you're on some kind of an adventure high. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. That is okay for Sean Donnelly. What are you talking about, Captain? I'm talking about Sean Donnelly being single. He's a loner. He's got nobody at home, not even a dog. I mean, he can walk out of his door tomorrow, be gone for six months, and nobody would miss him. You, you're married. You're different. You've got Felicia waiting for you. Responsibilities. You know what your priorities are, right? Priorities. So, can I expect you bright and early Monday? Listen, uh, Sean calls. I might be back later, all right? Got some things to do? Yeah. Got some things to do. to see you. I couldn't concentrate all day today. And I know that you want to talk about our future. Not a bad idea. Listen, you were right about me being disappointed with the Port Charles Police Department. But it's not like I'm joining the WSP. I've just been thinking about it a lot lately, that's all. That's what I figured. Now, sweetheart, it's not what you think. I'm not into this for the glamour. You're not? No. It's just rewarding to me. I like the work. It's a different rush than the Port Charles Police Department is, that's all. Then it's the excitement. That's what's important to exactly. you. Exactly. Why? Because it pushes me to a new level. A new level in work. It's exciting. I reach out for something I've never been able to reach before, and finally I can grab it. And that is so important to me. What about my feelings? Are those important to you? Of course they are. You know that. You know that. Well, so it's the quality of life. That's what you're talking about. It's more than that. If I was miserable in what I was doing, I would be miserable all the time. At home. And I'd wind up taking it out on you. That's emotional blackmail. Well, it's not meant to be. What sort of situations were reversed? Suppose I wanted to be, um, an astronaut or something like that. Would you feel the same way? 
probably would. Because I love you. And I want to spend more time with my family. But this is the WSB. We just have to figure it out. How? I don't know. Because I'm nothing without you, kid. And together, we're something. Felicia, it's Lucy. I sure hope that you and Frisco don't have any plans for dinner tonight. Tonight? Yeah, I, I thought we could have um, an early family dinner, just the four of us. The four of us? Lucy's inviting us to dinner. We're busy. Well, you know, I, I'm really doing this for Tony. He, he misses you both so very much. And, and I think it's time that we just set our differences aside and, and think only of BJ and Tony. Let me check with Frisco. Tony misses us. We're tired, you're tired, and we're going to go to bed early. She said it'd be an early dinner. You want to go? No. Neither do I. Damn. I haven't spent enough time with him lately. If we were more supportive, he wouldn't need a Lucy Coe in his life. You're right. What time? Um, how, how's five o'clock? Okay. Great. Well, you wanted to spend time with your family. Well, it's no problem. We just come home early and we continue our talk then. Don't you want to finish talking now? Now? Hmm? Like right this minute? Recuperating. Well, I want you to come in because we have some guests. Hey! Hi, <laughs> guys. Oh, what a great surprise. Well, what are been... you guys doing here? We haven't seen you for a while. We've been strangers long enough. Mm -hmm. So we'll make up for it tonight. Um, they brought us a lovely bottle of wine. You know, this is such a coincidence because Lucy and I were talking about you this morning. Oh, well, Lucy called and invited <laughs> us to dinner. Well, this lady thinks of everything, doesn't she? Try some of the mushrooms. Oh. oh, they look lovely. Can I help? No, wait. No, you cannot help. You were supposed to stay here and visit with Frisco and Felicia. I've got some stuff in the oven I need to take care of. I will be right back. Mm. Some napkins too, Lucy. Mm-hmm. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming over tonight. Come on, what are you talking about? I just missed you so much. We missed you too. And I know what it took for you to accept Lucy's invitation tonight. She doesn't have many friends in this town, and I understand that she can put people off sometimes. You know, since she's lived here, though, I've seen a different side of her. She knows what it's like to be alone, and she's sensitive to my loneliness, and she's been a godsend to me and BJ. We shouldn't have left you alone so long. We really didn't mean to. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> well... Well, um, dinner's ready. If you don't mind, we're going to eat in the kitchen. No problem at all. These are good. Can't yeah. forget this. Thanks. Okay. Oh, Lucy, what a beautiful table. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, it certainly does. Well, thank you. Um, I, I thought about serving in the dining room, but I figured it's for our family. Well, let's sit down. Felicia, why don't you sit for Tanya? Oh, no, sit. um, I, I think you'll be much more comfortable over there. And anyway, boy, girl, boy, girl. Please. Okay. Boy, girl. Got it. 
Thanks again for arranging this thing with Frisco Felicia tonight. You're welcome. I just don't think they had a very good time. Why do you say that? Well, they could have stayed, but they left right after dinner. Well, it wasn't your fault. I think there's some tension between them. Yeah, because of me. No, it's not. You know, I'm glad they went home. Because if they are having problems, I hope to God they talk it out right away. Tanya's death made me realize that there's so little time for two people to be together. It's just so little time. And you can't afford to waste a single moment. You know, Tony may think he has everything under control, but little Miss Co. has him eating right out of the palm of her hand. Well, we're partly to blame. We should be around him more. Tony needs us. I need you. Oh, baby. Frisco, please give up your idea of leaving the police department. I haven't made a decision on that yet. Not at all. I know how important your work is to you. But what about me? Is there any question about how I feel about you? No. But when Tanya died, you told me to tell you if you ever took me for granted. Or if you ever get so wrapped up in your work that you, you lose sight of us completely that I was supposed to let you know. Well, I'm letting you know right now. Please tell me. But I'm not going to have to be alone like Tony. Please tell me that. Be moved from CICU for security reasons. No, you think I can order patients around this hospital anytime I want, huh? I think you can do pretty much what you like with this one. <laughs> Is that a promise? I'm not here on doctor's orders, am I? You're here because you're doing so well. You no longer need CICU. Oh, well, in that case, perhaps I should go back to my lab. Oh, uh -uh, wait a minute. You're not that well. You just want me somewhere where you can keep an eye on me. Oh, absolutely. Then right after here, you're going to be moved straight to my penthouse. <laughs> Check back later. Chris, go. All right, you guys know the drill. We've got her covered. Dr. Engstrom is our top priority. I don't want to see anyone enter her room without proper identification. Even if you see me entering, you better ask me for an ID. You will just shoot on the spot. You think I'm kidding? need to take it out on them, huh? I'll take it out on their hides if they fall up. I feel like punching walls, too. We know that the fake formula's been stolen. We have that proof. We know that whoever's after Greta has been at HTI, but where the hell are they? We've got to be overlooking something. I've got a clue what. A different approach. An avenue we haven't fully investigated. You know, I, I got a feeling that we're probably gonna end up kicking ourselves. Feeling so stupid. Well, I'm kicking myself right now. What's our plan? You stick here with Greta. I'm going back to HTI. I'll keep digging. Maybe I can uncover this mole. Well, he's out there someplace. We just have to force him out. Not even a mole can stand around for it. Yes. Talk to me. You got my message? I take it the news isn't good. Not especially. Greta's gone. What? I went to General Hospital. They have moved her out of CICU. Damn. They must have moved her to another room. Well, then you find out which one and get the antidote. We've had far too many holdups already. Zimmer's still on my neck. He's given us 12 hours. That's all. Don't worry about Zimmer. I intend to go on living. I certainly hope you do. Of course I do. And I will. And I'll find Greta and I'll get the job done. Just remember, Barrett, 
We only have 12 hours, now 11 and a half. We have got to deliver that antidote or else, Barrett. It's as simple as that. I told you, I'll do it. Hospital personnel. Notice anybody hanging around the hall? If we'd see anybody, you'd have heard about it. Hey. Well, I might find you here. What's up, Tony? Oh, it's a surprise birthday party for Lucy. Uh, it's going to be at my house at noon. Can you and Felicia make it? Uh, noon. I don't yeah. think so. Oh, well, I didn't think you could. I uh, just found out about it this morning. Uh-huh. Why having a party for her? I just want to show her my appreciation. You know, she didn't get much of that in this town here, and I want to thank her for everything she's done for me. Well, I guess you can say that, uh... Lucy's lucky to have you. No, I'm lucky to have her. I gotta go and get her some presents, but look, if you could stop by, just do me a favor and do it, all right? Yeah. Thanks. Hi. Uh, Greta, I'm Amy. Beautiful. Thank you so much. They blow up in your face, it serves you right. It's a bomb? You were supposed to inspect it, right? We did. I saw what you did. I could have put a tank in there and it would have gotten in. What'd you expect us to do? Ruin the arrangement? Better that than her face. We'll go over it again. Thoroughly. And in a safe place. What exactly is going on? You know better than that. Don't get mad at me. They're your guards, Frisco. I hope you have a good explanation for this. You want an explanation, lady? Have you forgotten what you just been through? The DBX wants you dead. Don't forget that. They'll do anything to do it. They'll blow this damn hospital up if they have to. I am quite aware of that. But this bouquet was from Connie Daniels, my I assistant. The damn who it was from. Those flowers had to be arranged at a floral shop. Ten sets of hand, if not more, have touched them already. Well, I assumed they'd been checked outside. Well, they were supposed to, but it wasn't quite up to par. I'll get your flowers back if they're not laced with explosives. Well, yes. Please be careful. Sorry to go overboard. Oh, it's all right. I, I don't blame you. If you hear a loud explosion, don't expect flowers. Hello. What are you doing answering the phone? Well, I figured I might as well. We don't want anybody finding out who our patient is in 716, do we? Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's a very good idea. Uh, look, let uh, Greta have it ring from now on. I need you back here. What about Greta? Don't worry about Greta. The police and the WSB will take care of her. Get over here right away. On my way. I have to run. Go over to Sean's. Now, this hospital is crawling with cops and WSB agents. If anything happens at all, just holler, and they'll be right in here, okay? Okay. Don't answer your phone. Frisco, did you just come from Greta's room? Yeah, I did. Why? Was Monica there? I've got something I want to show her. No, she wouldn't. Have you seen her? Uh, I haven't. But if I do, I'll tell her you're looking for her. Yeah. I'm looking for a phone. Oh, there's a payphone you can use right over there. Oh, thank you very much. WSB rapid question and answer technique that Robert and I taught you. Sure. You want to wing it on this case? Yeah, I think we should. I am convinced that the answer is right under our noses. Now, maybe you and I can force each other to see it. 
Mr. Donnelly. Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Duke Lavery's on the phone again. He's insisting on talking to you. I don't think I can put him off any longer. Oh, all right, all right. I'll, Thanks. I'll take his call. Okay. Thank you. Briscoe, why don't you run the technique on Wolfgang? I'll make this as short as possible, all right? Right. So, Hello, Duke. Tell me what game you How you doing, buddy? We have uh, men picking you up at the elevator uh, to escort you to and from the x-ray room. And we're going to stay here and make sure no one gets inside while you're gone. Thank you. Wheels jam. Be your hand? Maybe. Something's causing it to stick. employees as suspects. Uh, because none of their prints matched the partial thumbprint on Greta's file. And you've run a check on everyone who's worked there since the problem was started. Every single employee. Yeah. Right. Then our spy must be an outsider. No, Duke, I don't think going to New York City right now is a very good idea. And I could return at any moment. Now, even if you took the shuttle, there is no guarantee you're going to find her. No, 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 look. I think the answer is having Anna come to you. I know it's a long shot. Yeah, I, I know. I wish there was something I could do. You're going to do what? Change your identity and start over again somewhere else? Not unless you get a brain transplant to boot. Duke. Duke. Look, I really have to go. Yeah. Right. All right. I'll talk to you soon. I mean, just take care of yourself. Relax. Okay? Bye. Poor guy is actually considering taking on a whole new identity and starting over somewhere as if that would solve his problems. Yes. Well, perhaps we should uh, get back to our problem, yes? Well, so far we've gotten nowhere. Now, if we all concentrate and put our heads together, we just may come up with a few answers. Hmm. What are you thinking, Sean? You change your identity become a different person would not help you forget but if you had something to hide something to hide that's it what why didn't i think of this before what why why a change of identity of course i mean there that's why we couldn't find any trace of that thumbprint i mean it's been right in front of our faces it takes a, a phone call from duke to make me see something i should have seen a long time ago that's the slightest idea what he's talking about Maybe. It is so simple. It is so simple. Our mole has taken on a whole new identity, a different personality. We have been looking for someone who doesn't even exist. Now we can start concentrating on someone who does, that DVX agent who is out to kill Greta. I'm so stupid. He's right there, my right important your work is to you but what about me is there any question about how I feel about you no but when Tanya died you told me to tell you if you ever took me for granted or if you ever get so wrapped up in your work that you you lose sight of us completely that I was supposed to let you know well I'm letting you know right now please tell me that I'm not gonna have to be alone like Tony Please tell me that. Oh, 
the Duke. Hi. I got the feeling you were expecting somebody else. No, no, just a price. Please come in. Thank you. I also get the feeling you're disappointed it's me and not somebody else. Oh, no. I'm glad to see you. I'm really glad everything worked out with you and Camellia. Thank you. We're very lucky. We some wonderful help. Yeah. Hey. Have you been crying? Things have been getting to me with Frisco. Do you want to tell me about it? Oh. Frisco's involved with an assignment on the WSB, and he really loves it. And I know that I can't compete with it. And what's worse, it's very dangerous. And he loves that part of it, too. I just, I just feel so stupid because I, you know, I just cry all the time. so stupid. The answer's been staring me in the face all along. Sean. The DVX agent didn't come into HDI with a brand new identity at all. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that the DVX mall was planted here at HDI with another employee's identification, not a fabricated one. In other words, someone who was once hired by HDI never showed up. But the DVX mall showed up in his or her place with an existing identity. Not a new one. Well, what happened to the person who was hired and never showed up? Probably murdered. And one thing we can't forget, we are dealing here with people who will kill at the drop of a hat. Well, we better find out who it is. And fast. You certainly don't show any signs of post-op depression anymore, Dr. Ingstrom. How could I be depressed? I'm so glad to be alive. Could you please? Thank you. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I have to get back into that bed? For a while, and then we may let you up again. between two people. There's nothing else I learned that much after what I've been through. So it really is important. And love is important to life. And without it, your life can be kind of empty. Mm, no, it's okay. You see, to love someone is, well, it's better than nothing. I still love Anna very much. And of course, little Rob and I, I still love her too, but... Well, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it when I have to face the fact that maybe they no longer love me. Well, I won't let you say that either. Well, I guess now you know why I've come here. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to fight for her. I'm going to fight very, very hard for her. I have to know what the odds are, though. Can you tell me? Tell you? I don't know what you mean by the odds. How does she feel about me? You saw her while I was gone, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you have to protect my feelings. How does she feel? She's hurt. She's very hurt. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, she would be. Well, sometimes the hurt goes so deep that you don't really know how to handle all the other feelings. What did she say about me? She was so hurt, uh, she didn't really want to talk about you. You don't have to be kind, you know, you can tell me. All she said was that 
you would no longer be in her life anymore. I'm sorry. No. No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry for me. I know she's left poor Charles. She's, she's taken Robin with her. But do we know she'll, she's gone forever or will she come back? Well, you can't really be sure. I'm not trying to be nice, but... No, I know, but I get the feeling you're not certain. She's not going to come back. Well, she's very strong, and she's got a lot of pride. And I like to think that maybe she's got some people here that she loves, and just friends, and Robin, and... And there's some people important to Robin, too. And her three godfathers, whom she just adores. And Anna's a fighter. She may not fight for herself, but... She would do battle with anyone or anything for Robin's sake. Oh, yeah. She would. No. So, yeah, she might come back to Port Charles and try to remake her life. Might. I can't be positive about that either. Oh, well, might's a straw, you know. Nah, I don't want to go clutching at straw. I mean, she just might not ever want to see me again, ever. But you can't be positive. Have you talked to anybody else? I would talk to Sean, but, well, he's deeply involved in something. Well, there's Buzz. He may know a lot more about Anna's feelings than I do right now. I could talk to Buzz. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. And thank you. You know, your friendship is very, very important to me. You're a good friend. I'm lucky. Thanks. I'll go see Buzz. I will. Before I go, you promise me one thing. What? Don't you give up on Frisco. You take that one extra step. Do you hear me? What you to have is very, very precious. I'll see you. Okay. Are you sure about this, Sean? It's only an assumption. I think it's a good one, Frisco. It's probably why we could never match up that partial thumbprint we got from the antidote file with any of the employees. And I'm sure that the DVX would never put one of their agent's prints on any employee card. So what do we do now? You know how long it's going to take to make new prints of all the employees? That could take days. Yeah, we don't have days. We probably don't even have hours. Well, what the hell are we going to do? How do we speed up the process? I think I know of a way. And what's that? Wolfgang, the palm print scanner outside the lab records the prints of anyone who enters, right? Yes. All right, so by comparing those prints with employee records, we should be able to figure out the genuine ones. And by a process of elimination, we should be able to come up with one print that doesn't match any of the employee cards. And that'll be our man. Or woman. Let's get the records. Right. Did you get the phone? It might be the hospital. Donnelly's office. Oh, Frisco? Felicia, what do you want? Um, I wanted to plan something very special for this evening, and I was wondering what time you might be home. I don't know when I'll be home. Oh, I thought maybe we could have somebody over for dinner. Honey, I'm with Sean right now. I really can't talk. Then don't. Frisco, come on. We've got to get this prince out of the scanner. Right, right. Come on, let's move. Move, move. I'm doing very well, Doctor. Do you suppose you could call me Greta? <laughs> I'd be delighted. I'm known as Buzz. Buzz, I like that. How's the pulse? Very close to normal. I'm told you've been an excellent patient. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear that. Do they give good patients privileges around here? Not privileges, but I could give you a reward. How about a gold star on your chart? Well, actually, I had something else in mind. After all these sponge baths every day, I would absolutely love to take a shower. To stand under a warm, nice shower. Absolute heaven, do you think? Let's see what Monica has to say about that. Uh, think there'd be any harm in your having a shower? <gasps> but I'd like a nurse in there with you. Well, that's all right. I understand. I'll send Amy in to help. That way, if you get bored in the shower, she can fill you in on all the hospital gossip. <laughs> I would love it. 
I remember I had a shower once. Many of my colleagues here have been after me to have yet another one. <laughs> Go to the Caribbean? No. We didn't get to go to Bermuda? No. We didn't get to go to the Bahamas? We didn't get to go to Tahiti? We didn't get to go to the Orient? We didn't get to go anywhere? We didn't get to go to Australia? Oh, wow, we No! We couldn't go anywhere! Like, who is it? Bobby! Come in! Question is, my dear, do you want to see me? What? I'm very angry. What is all of this? Well, I threw everything there. I'm... I'm angry. I'm furious. I am just furious with Frisco. He thinks about nothing but the WSB. He doesn't care about anything except for playing cloak and dagger with Sean. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't... All he thinks about is the WSB, and he doesn't care about me. <laughs> Does that work? What? Throwing things. <sighs> yes, it does. Do you mind? What? I want to see what works for me. Oh. Sometimes it takes more than one thing, Bobby. Be sure you don't break, make, break anything, because if you break something, then it makes you even more angry, and you don't want to get any more angry, because that defeats the whole purpose of, of throwing everything. Why are you so upset? Good old smirky Lucy Co. You, you, got, you got problems with the WSB? Yes, I know I do. You don't know what a problem is until you come up against Lucy Co. Would you like me to continue this, or you want to let up a little more steam? Oh, no, stuff? no, I'm fine. I don't want to hurt the pillows anymore. Go ahead. I sound like such a grind whenever I talk about it. You know, I feel like I'm this lonely voice out in the wilderness. Oh, please don't be lonely. I'm right here. Well, thank you very much, because I can't stand that glazed look that I get in Jake's eyes every time I mention the name Lucy Coe. You want to hear about her latest stunt? Nobody in the world will believe that it was a stunt except for me. I would. Tony decided yesterday to give little Lucy a little birthday party. Oh, no. However, Lucy had invited Jake and me to come over there for lunch because we have some problems and we had to talk about them. Mm -hmm. So there we are, Jake and I over there, when Lucy walks in to Tony's happy birthday banner and surprise, and she acts so touched. And so surprised, and so sweetly, sickeningly sentimental. Ah, oh, so she knew he was giving her that surprise birthday party all along? Very perceptive, my dear, and thank you very much. Every single time I try to bring this up to Jake, he acts as though he's shocked about the way my mind works. Well, Lucy brings out the worst in everybody. And the thing is, I know she did it for our benefit. I can't prove it, but I know she did it for our benefit. She just played the whole thing. She must have been convincing, huh? Ah, oh, to the man, are you kidding? Of course. Not to me, though. She's like this poor little match girl who's being adopted by Daddy Warbucks. I know exactly what you mean, and you can't breathe a word if it's a Tony either, can you? Mm, not to Jake, either. What is she up to? Tony. She's worming her way into Tony's life. Tony got angry with me the other day because I said something like that. And I said, I'll just stay out of your personal life. Is Frisco aware of what's going on? Bobby Frisco only knows the WSB. And when I say anything to Tony, he just becomes more protective of little Lucy. And I have to be very careful of what I say to him because I don't want to drive him into her clutches. When Frisco and I were there, she made it perfectly clear that she was the lady of the house. Huh. You know, the thing is, you can't blame Tony for any of this. And it's true. After you lose somebody that you really love, it takes at least a year before you can even feel straight about it. And it's common knowledge, you're not supposed to make any important decisions, not for a very long time. I miss Tanya. She was really good for us, all of us. You really do lose your identity when you lose a partner that you really love. It takes a while before you really know who you are again. What do we do? Well, I'm just going to wait for her to make another mistake, only this time with witnesses. Because I'll tell you something, you can't say anything if you can't prove it. Lord knows I've lived with a lawyer long enough to know that. Well, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on her. You know, there's been something in the back of my head, and I really can't figure it out. It's about Tanya. Give it your best shot. Well, it seems to me that when Tony faced his loss, he found it unendurable. Now, if he could just realize that... Well, what, what I'm trying to say is that it wasn't... 
wasn't a complete loss because we still have Tanya in our hearts. And if we could figure out some way that he could just let that go. Felicia? What? That's it. What you just said. About letting it go. Well, how? Well, you remember, you remember that idea that Tanya had about setting up a child care center at General? Yes, I do. And we were going to continue on with it after she died as a memorial. Well, come her. on, let's get on with it now because all it's right. a terrific idea and it's going to be very good for all of us. And I think it'll be especially good for Tanya because then we won't feel such a sense of complete loss. I'm starting to feel good about this already. You know what we have to do with this. We've got to take it to Steve Hardy. All right, when? Right now? Right now. I'll get my bag. All right, this one matches. Cross off. Abbott, Frisco. Abbott, check. All right. Next one is Ackerman, John L. There we go. Yeah, that's a match, isn't it? All right, check off Ackerman, Frisco. Uh -huh. Next one, Adams. Harold L. Yeah, that matches. All right. Who's next? Uh, Barrett, Roger. Right. Sure. Barrett, Roger. Brown. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not so fast. Take a closer look at this. What is it? Wolfgang, give me that partial thumbprint we took off the phony antidote farm. Perfect. Oh, here it is. All right, thanks, thank you. Frisco, it matches. It matches. Roger Barrett. Those were his prints that weren't in the personnel file. So he's the imposter? You got it. Our DPX agent. Connie, would you come to my office immediately, please? Thank you. All right, now let's go through the records and see how many times that uh, Roger entered and exited the lab, all right? Yes, Mr. Donnelly. Oh, thank you for coming in. Is uh, Dr. Barrett in the lab? No. Where is he? Um, he's attending a lecture. Where? At the Port Charles University. Is something wrong? No, no, Connie, nothing's wrong at all. Thank you very much for coming in, all right? Appreciate it. Let's go. I want you to get the squad car, go to the university, pick up Barrett. I'm going over to the general hospital to check on Greta. I'll see you later. One night next week, you and Steve come over to my house and I'll cook dinner. And we'll spend the entire evening reminiscing about the past. Indulging ourselves and we'll get it out of our system. Oh, Steve would love that. Wonderful. You let me know what night is good. Well, I'll check with Steve, oh. but the sooner the better. Right. Oh, hello, Bobby, Felicia. Hi, can we talk to you for a minute? Mm -hmm. uh, well, excuse me, I'm going to take my break. I'm going to get some coffee. And I'll talk to you tonight. Anytime. Oh, good. Come on, girls. Right here. No, I don't think so. So, come on, let's sit down. Tell me what is it you want to talk to me about. Audrey, did you ever hear anything about Tanya's idea to set up a daycare center here at the hospital? Oh, I do remember Steve telling me that Tony had approached him about Tanya's idea, but, uh, of course, the trouble was that it was the day that she was in the accident and was killed, so I'm sure it's just wiped right out of Steve's mind. Yeah, well, same with us. But we've talked about it a couple of times as a memorial for Tanya. Well, there certainly is a need for a daycare center here. I can't tell you how many nurses have given up their jobs when they've had their children because they just couldn't find the proper care for their children while they were working. We'd like to call the center the Tanya Jones Child Care Center. Oh. And I happen to know what a big economy kick the board is on right now, so we need to find exactly the right person to present it to them. You want Steve? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. I hear he's the only match for Edward Quartermain. That he is. Audrey, when is the best time to talk to Steve about this? Well, let's see, I know he's having a meeting with the staff in the cafeteria this afternoon. Um, what do you say the three of us corner him right after the meeting? So we can get the ball rolling right away? Right away. As a matter of fact, come on. Let's go right now. You should okay. be finished. Audrey, oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> what? This is really good. <laughs> blood sample down to the lab as quickly as possible. Yes, doctor. Pulse. It's so weak, I can't get a reading. Drug tray ready? Yes, doctor. Doctor, the blood gases are here. Doctor, look at the monitor. She's arrhythmic. He's a ventricular tachycardia. 
I'm not getting anything. Give me the panels. Stand by. Clear, everybody. Ready, doctor. Clear. Let me see the monitor. Doctor, nothing yet. Clear. Doctor, there's response. Nurse. There's some pulse, but it's still weak. If she's stabilized enough, we got to get her to CICU stat. It's full. Uh, all right, Amy, call up. Uh, we'll take the patient to ICU. Let's move, everybody. Guards, stay with us. We're taking her to ICU. Let's move this. possibly tell me where ICU is? Tenth floor, but only family are allowed and only for five minutes. Ah, I see. Okay. Thank you, thank you.